Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1998 Under-15 Boys National Tournament. This is the championship game between the Western Metro and the Eastside Kings. My name is Jim DiCarlo, and with me is Dave Joy. Today we've got a great game on a great day here on Saturday afternoon in Altona, Victoria. Dave, talk to me about this game. Well, Jimmy, what's it got today? You've got the new kids in the block, the Western Metros, last year's uh, championship winners. Uh, but they're up against six times championship winner, the Eastside Kings. Woo. And noticeable that the Kings are in a new colour strip this year. They're in a the silver and the red. And the Metros haven't changed too much. They just picked up the blue numbers on, on their previous black and white uniform. Forget the fact that this team is under 15. Both sides are packed with talent. We're going to see a great game ahead of us. We're going to see a fast game ahead of us because the track is good. The, uh, the sun is bright. And we're going to roll. This is, uh, both teams are pumped for this. And the referees were Trevor Clark, Leslo, uh, John Toogood, and the CBO Neville Bellflower. And if you want the coaching staff for the Kings, Brad Kendall and young Andrew Miller. And back across on the Western Metro is coached by Paul Mollison, assisted with Adam Burrows, Phil Sherrard, Lindsay Ovens, Kane Hampshire. And their manager is Gary Haynes. So here we go with the first face-off. Big game ahead of us. First ground ball is critical. And up comes number 10. Brad Dryan. This is Janetta Chris Smith from the Kings. Just give you some history on these zones now. The Kings have uh, drawn players from the Eltham Diamond Valley, Surrey Park. All over Victoria. And the metros are from the Altona, Footscray and Williamstown areas. True representation of both sides of the fence, I guess. Here we go. Brian Dewan, number 10, up top with the ball now. Not without the ball. <laughs> Hits yeah. the deck. He picks his own ground ball up. Yeah, they want to set one off the top. There goes the Dodger. Good defense. Looks like they're in a bit of a zone. I'm not quite sure. Too early to tell. This is young Jake Bahalarak. Oh, inside. Scores oh! it. A slow floater. It happens. And, and it happens. First blood. It happens anyway. one nothing ball game. Great goal by Jake Penhellerick, Surrey Park lacrosse player. Co-captain of the Eastside Kings. one nothing ball game. Western Metro fighting for it, looking, looking to come up with it. And... Not going to happen. Still on the deck. Both teams wanting it. He's got it again. This is uh, number four, Kyle Brooks, one of four of the Brooks boys out of the Alton Club. Bad connection with the feed or the pass. Ball trickles out of bounds. Coming back in. Live. Coming up. Is Western Adam Metro. Wood. Adam Wood, good leg speed. Down the line he goes. Good clear by Adam Wood. Metro looking to slow it down now. They got a bit of presence out there. They got some guns. And yeah, the Kings defense is too close in the crease. Out to number nine, He's Lee too Davis. Close. He rips one past the cage. Number nine is not going to hang back. Lee Davis rips it high. Good shot. That'll keep the goalie honest, I'll tell you that much. Looking for something. Davis again in wide in close and he rips it high. Make it easy. Walk it in. One all ball game. Great goal by Lee Davis. Great assist by Matthew Gonsworthy. And here we come Thompson. again. Right down, the, the right down the middle. Garnsworthy unable to connect. Floats it by, floats it by the goalie. Good check, though. He's got a mismatch on size. Oh, Garnsworthy with his left hand. Couldn't finish. So he's, he's he comes in for it, number five. Nothing there. Ian Boxel with the ball, 13. Up to number nine again. Davis. He says, you give me this space, I'll take the shot. He walks in for his second goal for the game. Within a minute, it's a 2-1 ball game. These side Kings, and they do some work on that right side of the defensive half. They're too flat. That's allowed Lee Davis two open shots. 
Here's the ball with Brooks. Yeah, they got to push out. There's, you give that firepower too much, uh, too much room, they'll step up. Speaking of firepower, number eight for the Kings, Scott Menz, and the 17th state team this year in Perth. The boy can let it rip. Scott Menz but is a co need the ball. Co captain of the East Side Kings as well, number eight, Scott Menz. Fighting for it. Always in a championship game, what's most important is the ground ball. Early in the game, you can really set the pace, set the tempo by containing the ball off the ground, picking it up quickly, getting all the crumbs. Long pass. Picked up well by number one, Stephen Sass. Coming down, goes back up high. He's got nine at point. Shot, Davis, Bottom nothing. Right. Garnsworthy can't connect. Yeah, good ball movement there with a Metro. That ball's with Chris Tillotson. Goalie for the East Side Kings. Bringing the ball up. Uh-oh, danger. Ball's down. Got to keep it over the offensive side of the field. Defense picks it up. Oh, and that guy does well. Uh-oh. Good check. Josh Adiros. Adossi with a D number five. Number 11, Ben T Ben Tarter, with a fantastic slap on the wrist. Is uh -oh. it Guardsworthy will finish yeah, that. Yes, he will. They're playing catch. Number four bangs it off the ground to the back of the goal. His first goal for the game coming from Lee Davis, who now has two goals and one assist and has participated in every goal of the Western Metro. Timeout being called by the Eastside Kings. 3-1. Timeout just called by the Eastside Kings. Let's see if it makes a difference. Because they need the ball and they don't have it now. Wham! Great save by the goalie. It's Michael Seabar, number three. We saw him in the Williamstown Campbell Grand Final. Threw a bag off that midfield. Wide open out top. He finally sees it. Can't hold it. Ian Buxel sitting there begging for the ball. Matthew Price with it. Dumps it off to Lee Davis. Trouble. Come around already. Left. Oh, the big dive. Into the crease he lands, and the ball goes across to the East Side Kings. He needs to look opposite to the left side. He's gone half field, and that's not going to make it. Pass a goal shot. What do we got? It's a wasted clear. Goal actually. shot or a pass? Canada pass. I would imagine the coaches for Eastside would have said, "Calm down, not a big deal. Just step up, step out, and relax." You need to stay with the game plan, Jim. Well, Just need to stay with the game plan. Do the work. Work themselves back into it. Only three-one. That clear doesn't resemble anything of a, of a relaxed no. approach. That's yeah, a shame. Train for six to eight weeks just to do that first five minutes mm, in the game. That's right. Wide open, all alone, right in the middle. Here's Evan Willis with it. And the 17's alternate this year. Under pressure. Come out, come out, come out. And the Metros take a timeout. Well, the Western Metro call a timeout. Trying to take a two goal margin and increase it. Let's see what they come up with. Shane Jones with the ball. Number seven moves it on. Pack Crease, they all spread out. Adam Hines. Yeah, the Kings are trying to play a little bit of a slough defense in front of the goals, but don't be in problems if they don't press the feet behind. That's right. And the shooter out top. I mean, if they just yeah. give, the, give the cushion. No pressure in the ball carry. That's a problem. Yeah. Interested to see how they contain this. See, there's too shot. much of a cushion. Well, couldn't convert Shane Jones. Big opportunity. Here he is again with the ball. High post up there. Adam Hines. The right, he's lined up. Cross. Garnsworthy uses the screen well. He's on the left hand. They backed it up again. Chris Tilson, good save. Eastside Kings need to push out. 
ensure the goalie isn't screened and ensure the shot isn't too close. Matthew Price, number 16, moves it on. Adam Hines, Price with the ball, left hand crank, bangs it past the cage. Tillerson says, Tillerson says to the defender, come on, help me out here. And he wants some help because he's looking towards the sun there too, young Tillerson. He wants the defense to push up on the ball carry and be aggressive for him. Give him more time to see that ball. Coming around. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Price moves the ball on to Hines. Hines with the ball up top. Price again, shot! Not gonna happen. Oh, he, he winds up. Doesn't pull the trigger. Steven Sass will do it. No, he won't. Woo wee! Eight meters out, you'd think you'd let it go. Eight, not even eight meters. Four meters out. Back on the there left side. There's the cutter. Good, good look. Yes. Steven Sass with a good cut. Good feed by Price. And again, that's a, a negative thing when you play so much zone, Jim. You don't back the shots up. Yep. Shane Jones brings the ball the in. Foul. Ben Tudor there, too high. Reese Thompson pushes hard out. Matthew Garnsworthy. My fault there, Reese Thompson is not on, it's uh, Brian Dewan. Pushed hard on guns, whether to turn the ball over quickly. So man up, power play, Western Metro. Steven Sass out top. Lee Davis, a bucket of points already. Coming in hard again. Garnsworthy. Cops it. And Cops it well. Oh, playing without a stick. Yep, interference. I think it's a bit unlucky not to get looked after there because the big 14's come steaming down on him. Young Pye was, uh, took him pretty hard. That's it. But Gareth came down hard on him, but that's All exactly right. The Kings. Here he comes and coming hard. Plenty of room, gotta plenty of opportunity. Whoo! Men's is handy, they've got to go to him more. Nick Lagoon. Start him up. Got wheels on his, got wheels on those feet. Point behind, ben he's in the trouble. Him. Whoo! Penhalloric now riding. Big body, didn't happen. Dale Cree just missed him there. Oh, need to throw the check. Look across the crease, there he is, the money man. Gareth Pye on D, there he is, at top, wham! Off the helmet. It's up in the air. Well read by number five, Joshua Dossi. Dossi moves the ball on. No pressure to feed her, now it comes. Good and push by possession, still with the Metro in black. Oh, weak call, weak call. Xavier Keir plays good body position, throws the check, knocks his man down and gets a penalty for it. Well, Woo. see if they can be consistent all the way with that one, Jim. Man up for the Metro. That'll hurt. That'll hurt if they get a goal. Two goal margin. They've held them out so far, Dave. Couple of man ups they've had. Metro's man up, no feeder. Three across the crease, one high in the middle and two at the top. String them out, bottom right, couldn't hold it. He's got it up to Tillinson in the yep. crease. He's got one coming from the box soon. Trying to clear the ball up. Brian Dewan, number 10, he's got some wheels as well. Does a lot of work Ooh. for the Kings. Pass doesn't connect. Good clear. Davis couldn't hold it, but Davis comes now with the ball. One minute to go in the first quarter. 3-1 ball game, looking to score another goal here. There's an opportunity. Oh, good Same move. move. Could get onto his left hand, a good move. Good look to the crease. Price again with the ball. Moves it to Garnsworthy, Garnsworthy looking. Sevier with the ball, steps up. Great shot, great feed. Good look, good lacrosse. 
Michael Sevier picks up a ground ball, puts the stick into his left, and dumps it to Lee Davis. 20 seconds to go in the first quarter, and it's a 4-1 ball game. And the clock there signals the time. We wrap up the first quarter. The Metro's quick out the blocks. Here we go. The second quarter of the game. 15 minutes, three goal deficit, three goal margin. Depends on how you look at it. That's better for the Kings. Excellent. Needs to attack the goal from Ooh, there. Could have gone. And right, he's going to settle up. Kevin Holden, number 17. Out ball, out top, number 20, Chris Smith. Over to one, Penn Hallerick. Hallerick cuts through. Here's the big gun, number eight, Scott Menz. Chris Smith. Here's a shot. Oh, not going to happen. Number five, Brent Cleveland. Probably part of the Cleveland clan from Melton. He would be. These Menz. There's an opportunity. Brother of the 19 group. And Halleck with the ball. Al Adam Wood. Oh. On Mainz defense. In the middle. Oh, big opportunity. Good backup. Well, it's important now that the Kings uh, attack back up those shots because the defence had a lot of work through that first quarter. They wouldn't mind a breather for a quarter or so. Yeah, it'll wear them down if they go too hard too long. This is with men's. Here he comes. Needs to be given a lot of room. Good opportunity. Yeah. Shot and a... Good off the... Woo. Looks like almost a goal. Gavin Holden. Big tall good. boy. Good look, good feed, good shot. No backup, though. So the ball goes across to Western Metro, and they're clearing it up quick. Evan Willis, good pass. Adam Wood, number 11. Down the line they go. Good coaching. Hung, oh. hung out the washing. He did, and he got it taken away by number 11, Ben Tudor. I guess. Tudor. Could be Tudor. 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 Tudor, my fault. My American accent. I have the liberty to butcher names. Back with Gavin Wood. Having trouble in their clues, they don't use the goalkeeper to make that extra man for them. He's open here, the lefty seven, but he's hot. Oh, good lacrosse. Well picked up. Lee Davis having a good game. Number nine moves the ball on. Matthew Taylor right there. It's a flag. Throws D. Reese Thompson, number 10. They got a flag. Sevier sees the flag, needs to go to the cage. There it is. Towards that stick. The bang, bang. open. Shot. shot. Go! Sevier's second assist for the game. Matthew Price gets a first goal for the game, and that makes it a 5-1 ball game. Good drive off the top. Number three, Michael Sevier. 
Sets up number 16, Matthew Price on that left side of the goal. Ground ball. Stephen Sass Good. picks it up. Fast break. Adam Hines. We're man up, we're man up. Western Metro coach is barking at the man up. Get him in formation, set it up, get the play happening. Take advantage of the opportunity. Sevier comes on. Sass puts it across. Price, Davis. Yeah, they've gone back the same man up formation three across the crease, one higher, yep. two up the top. Or Darcy and Garnsworthy on the crease. Garnsworthy is the cutter, comes down the left side. There he is, he's open. Oh, oh pretty dunk. look. Finished. Good finish, it's Last right. Goal. Good moving. Good lacrosse. We got a 6 1 ball game. Western Metro taking total control of this game. Good goal by Joshua Darcy then. His first goal for the game and a big point for the Western Metro. We got a flag down. Illegal procedure, too quick off the line. Metro gone too quick. Eastside Kings bring the ball up. They need a goal here, Dave. Oh, very much so. I think they might need to get to Carl Menz. Sorry, Scotty Menz to start him up. Menz is a big goal scorer. They need to get him warmed up early. Well, he's point behind at the moment. That's not a good matchup for him. He's got the size on. Yeah, it's young uh, Taylor on him, but he's uh -huh. got to get out some open space and get the one-on-one. -on -one. And his teammates need to work for him. Brian he's on Dunn. the move now, but he's got five other defenders. Here he is. Cut in and take the shot is what's yeah, being yelled yeah. from the sidelines here. That's exactly right. Dunn staying up high. Laguin's staying up high. Laguin can't pick it up. Big ground ball. Disappointing for Eastside Kings if they can't get something here. Dunn picks it up. Here's an opportunity. Runs through. Looking to move the ball around. Laguin moves it on. Penhalerick with the ball. Dow Creed. Dale Creed, they're calling for Dale to have the ball. He must be a feeder. We must have the matchup. He comes off his bottom right. Dale Creed with the North ball. Steps in. Run over each other. He's got a foul. Scotty Menz. Will come to the box for at One least. One slash. Hmm. You give these Western Metro, this Western Metro team the man up opportunity, they will convert. Five goal margin. And in comes the power play for the Metro. Steven Sass, last man on. Across, down, off the oh, pole. The pipe. Done looking for it. Foot race. It's got some wheels. Big hit from behind. <laughs> Joshua Dawson does a good job picking that one up. Shift the ball bottom right, look opposite, holds it. They got him winding up the lefties. Oh, good, good look. Down low. That. Go! Couldn't finish it. Good Steven look. Sass. Great look is right. Good teamwork by Western Metro. Yeah, it's excellent work. It's brilliant lacrosse. Whipping it around. Loaded the two and one here. See if you're up top. Davis takes it. Wow, just missed. Pings it off the outside of the cage. So if hey, Jim are shifting that ball quickly, you're a man up. Get the defense rotating. And see, draw the D and shift it quickly, open space players. You've got to slide together. There it is, one at even time. Not two at the one. They're back in even. Often it's where the goals are scored though. Cutter, he's going to hurt him on the crease, they don't cover him. Tillinson with it. He's got nowhere to go. Eastside Kings really need to convert something here. The full length there. Oh, not necessarily with the ball though. Should move. Oh, in the middle. Wants it. He gets it, and he. Oh, Whoa. no dinner tonight. The Garnsworthy house. 
drifts it past the cage. Big opportunity for the little guy. And he's a great little worker. Just yeah, had an open book there to put it home. Great run. He's already got a bag of points for this game. He was dominant also in the grand final, Jim. Yeah, played well. Price with the ball, number 16, moves it on. Sevier wants something. Is that Sevier? Yes, it is. There it is. Bottom Have right's look. open. Look to the left. Oh, Excellent. Couldn't finish. He had the two over there. Cross court again. Wide open. Good luck, oh, good sweet. feed. And he's oh, missed again. No good. dessert at the guns where they have. Magnificent feed by Joshua Dossi. Well done. Co-captain looking for an assist. Guns where they didn't give it to him. Good lacrosse by Western Metro. What a level of lacrosse you're seeing here. He's got away with a the brush there. Runs right through the middle. That's guts. He's got sat down. That's good D, but that was guts to go through the traffic like that. Absolutely. King's looking for the ball. Kings need the ball. Good hustling. The not Metros. Gonna, not going to get it. Paul Mollison wants a timeout on the Black Metros. And that's good lacrosse here, right here at the Altona ground. Five goal is the difference. 6-1 ball game. See what happens. Well, we're all even. We've got just on five minutes to go in the first half. And the Metro, Western Metro, have possession. See what happens after that rally of, that rally of. King's too flat. They've got to push out. Out top. To Hines. Got to press that up. Too much time to look for the feeder. Ben Doener, number two, is in for the attack. Shane Jones is in as well. Number seven just moves it on. Looking for something on the crease. Ooh. Or Darcy likes to be on the back the right feed. side loaded. Oh. Couldn't quite get hold of it. Oh, he's going to the line. Doing Got and looking for something. Pace. Yep. Six on five opportunity. I don't think they read it. They've just substituted out of the box. Big call to be substituting when you're on defense. Coming too hard. He's in the crease yeah. again. He's excited. Lee Davis has a uh, has three goals and one assist already. Only six six points in this game, and he's got four. He's involved with four of them. Looking for five, but that's probably not the way to do it. Eastside Kings looking to move it. Been done with it. He had a lot of the ball for the Kings, but he wants some helpers. They need at least a goal. Runs hard, but he wants some helpers up the field. There they are. It's too high. Coming back, Shane Jones. Coach Paul Mollison over here barking out, move the ball. One of the one of the reasons Western Metro are doing so well is they're moving the ball so quickly. There it is. And there it is. And they shoot 15. well as well. Number 15, Adam Hines, his first goal for the game. 7-1 ball game. Four minutes to go in the in the in the, in the quarter. Back into the action. Two number 10s face off. Brian Dunn in the silver. He's up against the Williamstown base, Reese Thompson. It's Thompson who drags it out. Need to attack the goal. Shot. Joan, Evan Willis, sorry, up to that one. Wombat looks up, knocked down. Cole Johnson, number three. Oh, that's an opportunity. Whew. Here we go again, looking for the fast break. And Willis, here they come. Too much on the juice there. Good feed, good, good look. Sevier coming in, he's dangerous the with the corners. ball. Reads it well. Too many men down. Pulls it out. Good read. Good lacrosse by the Western Metro just then. Sevier again. Wham! And he rips it high. He shows you how to do it from the outside. He starts low and comes up. And he cracks the back of the net. His first goal for the game. 
Michael Sevier off the top. He's got plenty of pace and plenty of firepower. Pretty to watch. Ball's locked in there. Shane Jones, number seven. Ooh, couldn't dislodge it. That's good ball movement down the lines. Go to the back. Coming out Six hard now, the East Side Kings are. They're lined up up top. Good knockdown. Well done. Chris nope. Smith, number 20 for the Kings. Sticking the passing job. lane. Oh, that's a foul. Metros. Loose ball. Calling the push. Seven goal margin, and the clock is on the field to wind out this first half. 8-2 can at least keep the claws into the game if they can get a goal. I don't know if they know that the clock's on. They need to move it quickly. They need to go down the line. They're crowding themselves. 18, 18 Nick Lagoon. Now it's going the other way. Western Metro going to use it. Number two, Ben Dooner. Coming hard. Looking in the middle. Going to use it. Three seconds to go. Two, one, shot. And it doesn't happen. And that winds out the first half here at Alterna for the under 15 boys national tournament championship game here see what happens can the western metro hold on can the east side kings come back 8-1 is the ball game let's see how we go Start of the second half, Reese Thompson, number 10, against number 10, Brian Dunn. Facing off. Ooh, a little bit early, but they didn't get it. Eastside Kings coming down. Looking to pick it up, number eight, does good. Scott Menz goes to midfield, started the first half in attack. Well, they gotta, gotta get him the ball, Jim. Gotta get him the ball, they'll open it up for him. He's a money man, is he? And here he comes, hard, right. bang, and a goal! One. <laughs> but whose man was young Taylor, because he went and doubled. No good standing back watching Scott Mens take the hits. Well, 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 we got 8-2 ball game That's early in the start. game. Yep. 8-2, they answer quickly, they snap back. Six goal margin now. Coming off the faceoff, need it again. Eastside Kings, they had a big game yesterday to get here. Some people would argue they've already spent themselves. It's a good pick up again, he's got the motor running again. Over Mens. to Mens. Not gonna happen. Well Matty picked, Taylor. Up. Feeds it down, and he can't handle it. He's well done. It Brian Dunn picks it up. Dunn's in trouble. Well he gets done. rid of it. That's the idea. Oh, well picked up by Sevier. And number three, Michael Asevois. <laughs> Depends on what side of the area you're from, I think. Moves the ball on. Number 
two, Ben doing it. Western Metro just holding possession, stacking the crease a little bit. Yeah, the Kings are still back in that zone. They need to pressure the ball. Ian Boxel, number 13, brings it around, can't find anything, looking for something, begging for a cut, begging for a feed. Matthew Price does the same, throws it to Sevier. He'll drive bottom right. He'll come off the bottom right. They're letting him. You put the have jet on. Space. He's got a two on one. Where's Thompson? Ball stepped on up two more steps. You have a shot. Here he goes in the right. There's Thompson again. Needs to step up two steps. Uh, Reese Thompson could take Good that day. shot. Good day. Ball still on the deck. King comes come out down. a bit late. Yep. There it is. Garnsworthy feeds it. Oh, that's a foul. Yep. Brought him down. Brought him down hard. Number 11. We'll take a rest for that. Ben. Number 11, Ben Turter comes to the crease, comes to the uh, comes to the box, and in goes the Western Metro Power Team. Number five, our Dossie. Back. One, three, two. Yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, there's the money They're man. everywhere. Little Matt in the crease. Good pickup by Michael Sevier. Again, looking for something. Flick. Good D. Could have flicked that behind the back, Michael. Good check, good hustle. Great hustle by number 18, Nick, Nick Lagoon, yeah. He certainly had a go at it. Sevier wants one and gets Shot. one. Takes Rubber. it, turns, and rips it low on a one burner. His second goal for the game, 9-2. Well, that's pretty lacrosse and would be very disappointing for the Eastside Kings. They need the ball, they need control, they need points. And right now, it hits all Western Metro. Just pouring it on here, Dave. Well, they're calling an interference on the crease. Shane Jones battles his head in shame as the ball goes the other way. It's a fantastic day for lacrosse down here at Altona. The turf is dry, it's quick. Had a bit of rain last night just to just to soften the ground enough. And down we come with number we'll 10, Brian Dunn. Good pickup by number 14, David Agar. Picked up. Oh, oh held it, pulled it. Shane Jones does well. Still has the ball. Across to Matthew Price now at 15. Adam Hines. Going to the back. Metro's plenty of time now just to set it up. Rotation the right side. Needs to come around another step. Good save by Tillotson there. Steven Sass needs to step up one more. Good ball control by Western Metro here. Not a lot of movement on the crease, but there's the cut. Trying to create something, rotate from behind. In triangles. Flat to the crease now they are. Plenty of room to room be, run around behind. Oh, good turn. Sass again. In. Oh, it's just rolled in. Oh, Sass again. Gets the spin, gets the bounce. Breaks the plane of the goal. Wouldn't have broken a plane of glass, but it broke the plane of the goal. So anyway, Steven Sass does well. Good shot. First goal for the game. Steven Sass unassisted then, and we're now on the rumble for a ground ball. Sevier keeps it in well with a bit of a golf shot.
good look. Ian Boxall there. Josh Adiros, he with it. He's the cutter. Good take. It sort of suits the King's zone pattern there if they want to pump in there every time. That's better work for the Kings. They've got two on one. It's men's. Oh, almost class a shot. Evan Willis, half field. And Boxall again. Good look by Willis. Having a good game. Clearing well. Oh, get on the crease. Good shot. Bounces it high. Well done. Matthew Price, the left-hander. <laughs> on the crease again. Tillotson. Here's a fast break opportunity. Play. Dale Creed, number two. Need to move it on. Need to move it on. Here's the cutter, Ben Hallerak, first goal scorer of the game, but it's going to go out. Good hustle there by Brett Cleveland. Brent couldn't do it. Good clearing again. A lot of help from the attack, Dave. They're just really coming up easy. Yeah, to present themselves up, up these wings. That's what we saw really in the first two games. Jimmy not much leading from the attack. The Metros are doing it. Too close, too many. Oh, see if you're looking for the behind the back. Razzle dazzle, doesn't pull it. Although it was the best shot to take, so good shot by Michael Sevier. Man down. Ball goes east side Kings. Right in the middle of the field. Number 11 picks the ball up. Actually, number 18, Nick Leguin has the ball. Need to clear this. To remain with any hope in this game, Eastside Kings need a couple of goals. Plenty of time left. The Kings need to do something and they need to do it oh, now. He's got to throw the ball. Plenty of people That's all fair. around them. Got Good. it out there, the long sticks yep. for the Kings need to control it. Good pick up. And Cleveland. Yep. He's in trouble now. Got an offside call. Bench official calling the offside on the Western Metro. Ball will go to the East Side Kings. In full. So an eight goal margin, 10-2 ball game. Gavin Holden with the ball. East side need to move the ball on. Get some cuts to the cage. I think the shooting ratio is something to the nature of five to one. 25 shots to five East Side Kings versus the Western Metro, and you just can't win a game without the shots. Good check. With two little number fours. Cale Brooks couldn't hold a number four. And Brooks needs some leg speed. Puts out one hand, that's clever, but he gets a good check. Ball's behind. Metro dangerous when the ball goes point behind. Garnsworthy with it. He'll slow it up. Yeah, it's against number 16, the Metro's there moving on the pick. Must stand dead still. Again, the Kings choose to run it out with the midfield. Come right back across where it came from, they're open. Here he goes. Down the line. Forced to run. It's good work. Jake Penhalovic with the ball. Need to move the ball on and cut. 
You need can. To keep, need to keep it down here for a while That's now. That's right. Brian Dunn should have fed that ball and then moved forward to give Penhalerick some space. If you pass and stand, you do nothing for your team member. It's not Here about passing and standing. Now. Here's an opportunity races. and a good shot. Willis with it. I get it back to him. Got one good shot top. by Brian Dunn. Need Young to put him Garns away ready. though. Throw the ball. Good work. Three good on Good wheels by Dunn and a go! Yes. Great lacrosse by the Western Metro. Josh Ardossi gets his second goal for the game and widens the margin that much more. Back in the middle of Reese Thompson, fast break, didn't use him. Garth Pye, big check. Got to back up Sevio with it. Cops the wrap. Push it! Push! Push! Got on the left hand. Comes back to his right. Good D by Nick Lagoon. One minute to go in the third crease. quarter. Still alive. Good, Good body. Well done. Looking for something. Good knockdown. Seaview does well. Controls the ball. Under a minute to go. Cut. He's in the crease. Yep. Kings need to throw that ball up the field. There it is. Brian Dunn that has a run like a racehorse yeah. though. Running Certainly well. Putting the yards. Chris Smith and Dunn just standing out top though. It's been need Hellerick to... again. Oh, inside. Good shot. It's going to stay with Brent Cleveland. Kings are making everybody do it themselves, though, Dave. That's the difference. Kings are actually watching the man with the ball exactly. and making it happen, making them do it. And that's the difference between the East Side Kings and the Western Metro. And that's why we've got a 2-11 ball game. The talent's there. They're just not actually moving for each other. Let's see what happens in the fourth. We start the last 15 minutes with a non-goal margin. Dave, Joy, can they do it? Can the Eastside Kings come back? I don't think they've got the firepower, Jimmy. <laughs> okay, there you go. They're breaking. You hated saying that, didn't you? Yeah, I'd like to see a good close game. I just don't think they've got a oh, good look. That's probably just a little bit a marked difference between the way the Metros think to shift the ball on team orientated. That's exactly right. Compared to the Kings are forced to, to just go one-on-one. Yeah, on one. That's right. And it's so hard against a good defense line, they're going to make you earn every one you can get on that way. And a team of champions will never beat a champion team. And that's what you got right now with the uh, 
Western Metro. They're really playing like a champion team. Well, on the Kings defence line now, I suppose you just throw every, every caution to the wind, just get after the ball, play some one-on-one uh, -on -one takeaway, just rip into it. As I said a number of times before, Jim, if you lose by nine or 99, incidentally, at the end of the day, you you've got to get after the ball and uh, get it down your attack half. Well, Michael Sevier doing it all over there. He's um, He'll clear the ball, he'll shoot the ball. He'll, he'll lay the body into you as well on the ride. So that's excellent lacrosse by number three. Yeah, and then he rubs a salt in the wound with a bit of a juke and a jive. Ball's behind. It's good Cut. balance to the Metro there. They're two at the back. They weren't any, oh, his bottom. Pretty good lacrosse. Finish. Woo, comes around hard right. Nobody picks him up. And Joshua Dossi gets a third goal for the game, and he uses the pole. Well done. Again, a great goal by Josh. I mean, um, anybody who hasn't played lacrosse or attack, I guess, um, to step around the corner like that with the ball and come hard is not easy to do because the defense should be fl sliding down on you, and it's easy to get taken out. So well done by Josh to hold his ground and get that goal. It's picked out in the crease. Adam Wood on the defence of the Metro, has been solid. Means drops a shoulder in. Yeah, nothing in that. Good job. He's got oh. yeah, Dale Creed, one on the helmet. So number two comes off for one minute. Tricky call. Wouldn't have called it a slash, but um, anyway certainly call a ball power play back in again for the western metro i think it's had an impact they've oh, had a big, lot of penalties big for their conference uh, jim the games we've seen today the other two playoff games the man ups failed miserably on both those games with this one to uh, lift the roof off yeah, that's right metro have really capitalized boom Tell good up save by. done a good job in here considering the pressure he's been under yeah the totally three and a half quarters he appeals to his players to get out of there. Jump, jump, jump. They get themselves into trouble. Oh! oh coat hanger. And the East Side Kings, number 11, Ben Tutter. Hold by number four. No, it's 16, was the man. Matthew Gonsworthy there saying, how that man? Doesn't really matter. Man up, comes the Eastside Kings. In comes number 10, Brian Dunn. 18, Nick Laguin with the ball. Dunn, back to Laguin. Dale Creed comes in. Can look both ways. Over to Jake. There's the one-on-one, -on -one, even the man up. Shouldn't be happening. Yeah, that's Matty Wood, knocks it down the bottom right. It's a good pace there. Shane Paul Jones. Creed, Paul Creed comes in hard, well done. Dale Creed. Stevens S. Not quite sure what the what the uh, call is. Interference probably. Plenty of time left in the game. See a few more goals happening. East Side Kings are hoping to get a few. Dale Creed, number two with the ball. He likes a dodge, he didn't, needs to do one now. Gonna roll back. He's got doubled. Good movement. Shifts it now. Over to Dunn. Run your legs. Good Swings roll. Inside. Bang, and he goes down. Oh. Yeah, number 11, Black. Adam Wood, you're up too high. It's the part of the game, the place you drop the shoulder and not use the stick. King's working. Nothing, nothing really happening though. I'm not quite sure if they have a, a set play here on their man up. And so no man all, up, Jim. Sorry, they're all even now. Turnover. Yeah, my fault. Oh, that's a Seven shot and a half. 
Kevin Holden comes around. I haven't seen much of him today, but he steps up high, launches the leg, and rips it under the net. Well done. Number 17, Gavin Holden, his first goal for the game. Eight and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Big goal by Gavin Holden. Good looking lacrosse. Done. Foot race. Done. Still looking for it. Holden. Lagoon. Good 18, job. Gonna move the it ball off. off. Oh, and he comes out of trouble. Back up the Brooks. Creed looking for something. No one's moving. Comes Here comes right. Creed again. Not quite far enough. He's got it back. Willis steps up and snuffs that ball. Well done by the goalie. Uh, a little bit of a force. Willis picks it up, waves him on, sees it, hits it. It's over his head. Who's in front? This is going to be trouble. Flicks it out. Well done. Holden picked the ball up again. Good roll. There's John a shot. To Bang! Off the handle. Willis, big Woo! save. Gets it across the handle. Scott Men's looking for a second goal. Pulls the trigger. Couldn't find the six by six. Kale Brooks, four. Drop, drops it off to Holden. Looking, looking, done, looking. No one's moving. Men's moves. Here's a feed. Oh, Creed Too was wide, wide open. Got to move your feet, Lagoon. If you're going to move that ball like that, you got to be stepping to the man. Otherwise, you get passes like that. Happens at every level, not just your level. Matthew Taylor with it. Up the lines they go. CVR with it. Well done. And Looking they're going to take a timeout on the black. About seven and a half minutes remain. They'll set up a, another drive on. Two to the back for the Metro. Look for the cutter. Not there. Sea view's open. Oh, they've left him on the bottom right of all places. Now he's being picked up. Good defense by Dunn there, but he, he turns the corner in. on him. Yep. It's a double call. Very clever. He knows just a, it's a long shot. Knocked down. It's better from the King's D. He's got a loose ball push. Stevens ass. Just a turnover. Sorry, 30 seconds now. They're going to give him a 30 second for that. A little late to be evening it up. But either way. 30 second Not man up for the Kings. Men's. Men's. Cut. Done. Back to Men's. He wants to shot, but he's too far out. Anything here in a man up? Any play happening at all? The men's one and one. Come Boom! Off. And he bangs it over the goal. Metro pretty much put a guy tight on him on a normal six-on-six six pattern. Keep him off the ball. Oh, I think he was shooting before he caught that one, Dave. Got it back, but back even now. Metro is six-on-six. Six. Watch your back. Lack of talk. It's a good check. Another good check. Need the ball, the Kings. Holden having a good fourth quarter, isn't he? He got a timeout on the Kings. Eastside Kings looking to get another goal on the board here. Six minutes to go in the game. Four, sorry, four and a half minutes to go in the game. And wow, oh, he's up there. He rips it past the cage. Five blues the call. You can see pretty much all game they've had men's taken out face to face. Tight, yeah. They've just Keep tagged them. The ball. 
Well, he's got to learn to work off. That's right. You know, the other's got to learn to set picks for him so he can get over. That's a goal! Oh, bounced in. <laughs> That's it, Cal. Who wants that? Cal Brooks will take it, number four. Kale. Yep, his first goal for the game, and that's a goal to the Eastside Kings. <whistles> Big face off there by Steven Sass, does well. Fighting for it, good pickup. Goes straight through, He's got him late behind the play. 11 gray, interference. Ball comes back the other way. Just over three minutes to go in the game. Coming hard. See if you're looking for it, and he rips it. He enjoyed that one and takes the roll. Sevier does well. Another one. Worm burns it past the goalie and ends up with his third goal for the game. There you go, Josh uh, Dossi with his good value assist there. Helps out Michael Sevier off the bottom right. Here they go again. Oh, two on one, just couldn't connect. King's defense. Dale Creed comes out. Going hard. Need to press the ball. All oh, this is a learning curve. Need to keep the pressure on. Two and a half minutes to go in the game. Ball's on the deck. Good pick up. Yes. Carl Johnson. And they've drawn a foul. He did drop it, but they didn't blow the whistle. They'll do it now. And flying off the field is number four, Garnsworthy. Slash to the helmet. Western Metro. In the box. East side Kings, man up. On comes Dunn. On comes Lagoon. Over to Menz. Ball hits the deck. Good check. Lagoon picks it up. Almost a turnover there. Oh, if he had a left hand, he'd have a shot. Dunn looking for it. He'll take it. Point behind. Steven Sass. Creed. Dunn, over to Menz, back to Dunn, Menz, roll, Dunn again, up top, bounces it from outside, a little bit of frustration there I think, not the shot you want on the man up, it's what the goalie wants, take that outside stuff. Here's the release from the box, Garnsworthy, into the middle, good luck, good lacrosse. Back with Sevier at the bottom now. He's it on to Josh. Uh, Dossi rolls left, looking for the crease feed. They're all on it, waiting. Drawing the heat. Slipped him again to the left. Sevier with it. Looks for the cutter. He's still open. Lee Davis. Good cut. Oh, great cut. Ian Boxhall there. Good cut. Chris Tillerson up with that one. That's Wants good lacrosse. Ball. That's just a good level of lacrosse. Moving the ball around, waiting for the shot. Great cut. To run some traffic. Good body check. Reese Thompson showing he's got a bit of uh, a bit of weight. Oh, they're going to call for a high hit. I thought he dropped the shoulder into him. Well, well, well. Seconds to go in the game, calling one minute. And the Kings now in a position to finish off. Men's with the ball, He's looking for something. Ben Hallerack. Creed. Creed. Good save. Evan Willis weighs him down. Yep. Three oh. on three. Seconds to go, time's ticking. They on the crease, want to win by up. 10, they want to do. Look up top. He's going to do an end. Ah, they're going to give it to him. 
They're going to give it to him. <laughs> it's an air one. That's a bit all clear. What a way to finish the 1998 under 15 boys he, national. He drew the foul and shot he shot like that. It off. Number five, his fourth goal for the game, and a beautiful one at that. Josh Odassi. Woo! Well, the Metros score a great goal, one in the box, only a few seconds left, and there they are. And they won it the, back to back. And there's the jubilation. And there's the water bottle. Woo! Back to back victory. Think they're happy about that, Dave? Ah, uh, they're more than happy. Well, they played very, very well. Good teamwork. Eastside Kings put up a good fight. It was a good game, but the. Western Metro just had a bit too much firepower. And here comes the water. There goes wet Paul Mollison with the water. That's right. Well, congratulations to the Western Metro for taking out the 1998 Under-15 under National Tournament Championship. It's well done. It's been a great day here at Altona. Condolences to Eastside Kings, but fantastic for them. Congratulations for them to getting here. They were the underdogs coming in, and they showed that they showed why. They uh, at least made it. They had the talent. They just didn't have the uh, the legs, I think, in the, on the final day. Yeah, just didn't have that quality to finish off their work. But uh, certainly put in a great effort the four quarters. Did their best. A good job with the coaching staff. I think the Western Metro are well coached to take out their, their key players. And they shut down everyone from Dale Creed to Penhalleric to to um, to Cleveland to, um, to yes. Men's. Yeah. And uh, that's it. That pretty much shuts the door on them. Um, Chris Tillerson played a great game in the games, in the, in the goals, but at the end of the day, it's not what it's about. Western Metro, whoo, what do you say? Sevier with a bag of goals. Garnsworthy played well. Ardassi with them brilliant, you know, bag of goals and a brilliant final goal. Lee Davis really opened up this game with, I think, three points out of three, the first yeah. three goals. And their long sticks are all solid, all four quarters. The long sticks cross the defense line, play well as a unit. They're good off the wings. And again, their face-off had a good piece of the percentage of the ball. Yep, that's what it's all about. And putting the ball to the back of net is what wins the game, Jimmy. That's exactly right. Well, 14-4, to 4, that wraps it up here at Altona. 1998 tournament over and out. My name is Jim DiCarlo, and with me has been Dave Joy. We hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. Adios.